How long have you guys been in yachting, and when, where did it start? I started at the Fort Lauderdale Boat Show in 2000. I got all my ducks in a row. I already had my own boat, and I thought, I, I want to try this as a career. Honestly, yeah. I was 13 years old, and wow. I started washing boats. And, and then I um, had to get in trouble a lot, kind of got into the addiction thing, and after I got sober in 1989, my very first job in 1990 was on a boat. So it's been a long time. Oh, and then from there, a guy gave me an opportunity. He saw that I really wanted to work in the industry and I, I, I was a hard worker. And then he gave me the start, sent me to C school. I got to have the experience of literally starting from scraping barnacles off the bottom of boats mm -hmm. and then all the way to the bridge. Nice to meet you. You too. Taking the boat from the starboard wing. We're going in. Two meters to starboard. Go ahead and tighten the ground lines. Just lock them off here. Yeah. I played professional sport back in Australia and had a few trades, and then I um, went on a bit of a tour. And I was supposed to be in England playing football, and I got lost a little bit. People just asked me, do I want day work? And I didn't know what that was. Didn't know what it didn't was. Know, I thought it was someone's name if I knew him, if I, <laughs> someone was lost. <laughs> and I, um, I went back, and he said, no, they want you to work and I jumped on the boat for a couple of weeks. They took me down to Miami, and I started uh, with my trades as an engineer's assistant. Mm -hmm. But all the crew off that boat were the crew off uh, the Wolf of Wall Streets. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah, the, the boat Nadine that went sure, down. Nadine, yeah, so uh, oh, they, had, they had a story to tell. We're here to have a, a responsible, fun time, OK? There's 72 islands here, so a bit of diving, outside shark feeding times, <laughs> and there's some really good snorkeling as well. Yeah, the end's death. So you might as well enjoy the bit in between. I started life out of school as a tradesperson, an electrician, and um, they shut the, the company down, and I up pumping gas, and a job came up to be a deckhand on a parasailing boat. And I went down there, and they took me out for an hour, and they said, OK, thanks, Kerry, we'll, we'll call you. And I said, well, let me rinse the boat down. So I rinsed the boat down, Kerry, we'll call you. They let me chamois it, and I kept on making up jobs. I wouldn't leave. <laughs> Good I thought it was gonna be the most amazing job in the world to have. Growing up in Australian Outback, I had to be tough. Adventure and danger for me, it's just another day. I've been a captain nearly 30 years. There's no doubt I've got some big shoes to fill. It's a big girl. But hey, sounds like a challenge to me, and I'm up for it. Cheers. Be good or be damn good at it. I've been doing this about 40 years. Accidental start. Ran out of money in the islands. Did a job. Got a job on a sailboat delivering. Said no experience necessary. And I said, well, got my name written all over it. <laughs> That's when I found out I. <laughs> was prone to being seasick. Prone to being seasick. So I spent my next year doing watches all by myself with me and my bucket. So you toughed it out. You can get over being seasick. Yeah. It's, it's a state of mind thing. It doesn't need to be forever. I find getting over seasick is just eat a microwave hot dog and get really sick. Well, yeah, now, <laughs> now I'm the guy sitting up <laughs> in the bridge. And with, then get it all out, <laughs> and then we go. I'm, I'm the guy sitting up in the bridge now with 20-foot waves going, can I get a plate of lasagna up here, please? Exactly. Being a captain and being out on the water, there's just something kind of magical out there. It feels right. It's kind of like Christmas morning. No traffic up there on the bow, Cap. Beautiful day for a sail. One thing that's always been important to me is an avenue for new people to come into this industry. This industry has been very good for me. You know, it's uh, brought me a lot of things that I would never have had, and I think you guys could probably say the same thing. And so, as I'm getting towards the end of my career, I think I want to do as much as possible to help new people. people. And I think that's a great thing about the show, because before there was Below Deck, how would anyone ever know that the, you could even work on a super yacht? The show has helped to expose this crazy little world we live in uh, to a, a wider audience, and people can say, hey, maybe I want to go and do that, yeah. you know? My legacy would be to continue to help people find their way into the industry. I have a charity. Uh, I started because of being on the TV show and the thousands of messages that we get. How do I get in the industry? Yeah. Also, I was the kid that was on that merry-go-round of drugs and alcohol addiction. Uh, I wasn't employable. The maritime industry employed me, saved my life, and that's really the legacy of it. Fantastic hope. idea. I was a good kid, and then my neighbor gave me a 714 Quaalude, oh. and that changed my life. 
<laughs> I was on that drug train. I kept getting arrested, and I got sober. I answered an ad in the paper to pay off all my fines, and I started washing boats. The reason that I even decided to continue another season of Below Deck is the reach you have into other people's homes. You know, just by engaging with someone on social media, how happy it makes them, how excited they get. You know, they're, 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 it's a little bit of love and happiness in their world that those around them are gonna feel. And it takes very little effort from us just to just exactly. say hi, or put a little heart there, or, or ask a question that, that matters. And, and from that, it creates a platform that we can use to do good. I'm an ambassador of a couple of good foundations. One is building schools in Indonesia, oh, wow. which I'll take to Philippines, which is all using recyclable plastic to build the schools. So that's a personal thing that's happening and I want to keep that going. I think if I were going to leave a legacy, it would be always, always have integrity. Yeah. Be honest with the person in the mirror first and leave it all out there. 110% deciding to become a, a yacht captain has been the best decision I've ever made in my life. I want people to look at the job that I've done and go, he set the bar high, and he kept it high. God damn, what a ride. I'm absolutely honored to be part of the Bloodic franchise. None of us would be here if you didn't make this show successful. Yeah. If you didn't work with the production crew, if you didn't find ways to make things work. Just to see what it's grown to. It's grown from a, a show that, that everyone was dogging. Yeah. Right, and and from that it's grown to a pop uh, to, to a very popular show, and then from that platform, different people here have been able to help other people in their lives, which which they wouldn't have right now. You wouldn't have these charities to help if it wasn't for you, mate. Collectively, we have done a lot of good work for a lot of people. A lot of people have jobs that they never knew existed, and that's because of all of our collective efforts. It's not me. But, but you blazed the trail that has allowed us all to be sitting here right now. I can't thank I you enough. That. I thank I think you. I speak for everyone when yeah. uh, yeah. We really, really appreciate it. Got yeah, a lot thank of respect. You. But oh, a lot of respect. Also, the show that you started has got to a point where it's actually brought diversity into, yes. into the industry, that's, that's which we're another, seeing another every important. season. There's yeah. you know, more female captains. Exactly. You know, there's a lot more diversity going on, yeah. and it's showing the world that um, this industry is for everyone. Now it's up to you to carry it on. Never quit, never give up. You give your word, you fulfill it. <laughs>